Hello everybody, Craig here from CLP Bushcraft. And I thought I would make a video going over some of my bushcraft tools that I use. Uh, I know I've showed you um, my cook kit and what's in my day ruck, and I went over some of the tools then, but I figured I would make just a dedicated video to the tools um, that I use when I'm out here, you know, playing in the woods, bushcrafting, doing that kind of thing. So I'm gonna break it down to three uh, sections. I've got axes, knives, and saws. And I'll go over them and kind of go over some of the technical specs of each one. So stick with me and check out the tools that I use while I'm out bushcrafting. See you in a minute. So I'm gonna start out with my axes. I have two axes, both are Granfers Brooks. The first one is the first one that I got. It's a Granfers Brooks outdoor ax. It's got a 14.75 uh, inch handle. Comes with a steel collar on it, uh, which protects the handle while splitting wood. It's got a two inch face, weighs one pound, and still really packs quite a punch with the length of the handle uh, for cutting down small trees and stuff, but it's kind of a utilitarian ax to do everything with. I mean, you could cut down small trees, baton through wood, you can make feather sticks, you could use it to uh, field dress small animals. It's just a kind of a good all around ax. And as you know, I keep it with me all the time on my day ruck on the side of it. Then the ax mask for it, I've got a Review Outdoor Gear brand leather ax mask. Got it on Amazon. It's a pretty decent leather ax mask. My second ax I got from Christmas from my mom and dad is a Scandinavian forest ax. And this ax, I really, really like the, the, the size of it. Um, it's not too big, but yet not too small. So you can still you know, fall a fairly little decent sized tree with it and delimit. But the uh, face on it is a three and a half inch face. It has a two pound head. The handle is 25 inches long, hickory. And then I added the uh, Review Outdoor Gear uh, collar to protect it. And also I have a matching Review Outdoor Gear axe mask as well. So this is my two axes. Um, like I say, both Granfers Brooks, I love them. Uh, I wouldn't take for either one of them. And I want to you know, try out some different other brands you know, next, but for right now, these two is really all that I really need. Okay, so on to the knives. These four knives are my pretty much go-to bushcrafting knives um while i'm while i'm out here um some of them gets more use than others and uh one of them is pretty new and i hadn't really used it a whole lot but i'll get into it in just a minute uh first off is this is a mora this is their 125th anniversary edition knife it's pretty much like their number one but it's got a uh natural handles just the natural wood it has, it's not painted red it's in a stainless steel blade it's a it's a really nice little knife and like i say it comes with this sheath and the sheath that it comes when it when you get it it's a natural uh tan hide color and i dyed it uh dark brown because i like all my leather to be dark brown but it works really well. Like I say, I use it as a neck knife. I just tie paracord onto it and uh, hang it around my neck and it's right there handy and it's a good size for a neck knife in my opinion. But nice knife, really, really like this knife. Next up is my Survive Knives GSO 4.1. And it's in a Sagewood gear uh, leather sheath. It's their bushcraft model. And it's got the dangler loop on it. Ferro rod. 
But this knife I've had for a long time and really like it. It's one of my favorites. It's, um, like I say, it's their 4.1 model. It's the older style. Um, I know guys making a, a newer style in, in all of his, his GSOs now. But this knife has a really good feel and hand. Razor sharp. It's in CPM 3V steel. Uh, got canvas natural brown Mercata, uh, canvas Mercata. I can't pronounce the word. Canvas Mercata handles. Um, but works really well. The only thing I dislike about this knife is it don't have a 90 degree spine it's rounded but you can see right here it's got um, a spot for a ferro rod where you can you can strike it but it's it's harder i mean you got to be right on this notch and uh, you can do it but it's just a lot easier having a whole 90 degree spine but wouldn't take for this knife really love it and i've put it through some paces the next knife is Amora Garberg. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I won this knife from Smoky Mountain Knife Works. It comes with a leather sheath, and it's a really nice knife. I, I really like this knife. Uh, it's got a, a very good feel to it in hand. Uh, it's got kind of a hard, rubberishy plastic handle. The blade is coated. It's got a kind of a black coating on it. But it's got a scanty grind. It's a 90 degree spine on it. Really, really nice knife. Uh, it's more of one of their more as high end knives. It's carbon steel, but uh, it works good. I've come over here and baton with it, and made feather sticks and cut, and it, it works really nice. I, I like it. I'll be using it more. But my main go to knife and my favorite, my baby, is my Adventure Sworn Custom Mountaineer. And as you can see this sheath, I mean, it's not no safe queen. I use it. Um, normally, every time I'm over here, this is what goes on my belt. The ferret rod, you can see, I've used it. Uh, I paid a lot of money for this knife. And I paid the money intended on using this knife, though. Um, I can't say good enough good things about it. Love the sheath. Got the dangler loop on it. Uh... The style of it, like I say, it's the Mountaineer, and this is a custom ordered Mountaineer. I was able to pick the steel that I wanted, the grind that I wanted, the handle liners, the handles I wanted, the liners I wanted, the pin, uh, which pins I wanted. Uh, so I got it in CPM 3V steel. Uh, Raising BN, I got it in 3PM V. CPM 3V is because the uh, 4.1 is CPM 3V, and I have, like I say, I put this knife through its paces, and this steel holds up great, and I said, if it'll work good for this, it's got to work good in this, so that's why I went with the CPM 3V steel, and I am not disappointed. It is razor sharp, it holds an edge good, and a lot of people have issues sharp resharpening it, but, I mean, I can get it back razor sharp uh, really easy. Um, but it's got a 90 degree spine, Scandinavian grind, um, I got it with the uh, stainless bolts, loveless bolts, or whatever you call these. Um, got it with walnut handle scales. It's got ivory G10 liners. I believe it's 530 seconds thick. Uh, that doesn't taper. Like some of theirs, they, the, the spine tapers, but it, this is not a tapering. But yeah, I, this is my favorite. I love this knife. A lot of my carving that I do over here with it, I use this knife. Um, like I say, this is my main go-to knife. And um, I've done a lot with it already over here and plan on using it for a long time to come. And one good thing about Adventure Sworn is you can send it in for their spa treatment, they say. And they could, you know, resharpen it and polish it out and that kind of thing but i mean it it looks great still as it is now and i got it uh i believe it was around may i've used it all this fall but uh yeah i love this knife it's my baby all right and next up we'll get into my saws that i use over here
Okay, so my saws. These are the three saws that I use the most when I'm over here. So this saw here, um, you've seen when I did the uh, mother uh, canteen carrier kit. I normally keep it in it. Um, but this saw I got years, years, years ago uh, when I was a teenager. And uh, it's a Gerber saw. They don't make this kind of saw no more, but it's really lightweight. And for what it is, it cuts really, really well. Um, I've cut a lot with it and it still cuts good, but I really like it because it's a good pocket size saw just to throw in your pocket. Um, and it had this, uh, this is the old school, uh, real tree or mossy oak. I don't know which camo pattern this is, but this is the little sheath that it came with. Uh, next is my gone boy, silky gone boy. This is the 240 gone boy and I've got it with the large teeth try to get it focused in there this has got the large teeth but i've done a lot of work over here with this saw um but shelter majority of the shelter was done with this saw not this blade <laughs> i've broke several um that's the only drawback to silky if anybody has a silky saw they know silky saw blades are thin and if you get in a hurry and don't know what you're, you know, not watching what you're doing, you're going to snap it. Uh, and I've snapped several of them. This blade here on it is actually a new blade um, that I've got because I snapped the last one. <laughs> but uh, it's a really good saw. It cuts really good, um, fairly lightweight. And then I keep it in my centerline systems uh, saw pouch. And it's a really nice saw pouch that uh, they design. And then lastly is my Adventure Sworn buck saw. I love this buck saw. I love this buck saw so much that I have another buck saw from Adventure Sworn on order. Um, I ordered it two weeks ago. And uh, the reason I ordered is because I wanted a walnut. Um, I wind up getting this saw used off of eBay. And this one is cherry, I do believe. And um, I wanted a walnut. Mainly just wanted it because I've got a walnut handle on my Mountaineer. And also have from Adventure Sworn, I've got a Scout on order uh, from Adventure Sworn. So it'll be here sometime, probably May, something like that. That's what they're estimating. But it's also going to have walnut scan. It's basically going to look just like my Mountaineer. Uh, with the walnut handle and the ivory g10 liners but yeah this saw i really really like and i also have a, a boreal agua canyon uh, saw and i should i guess i should have brought it but i forgot about it i keep it in my truck in the toolbox of my truck it's a really good saw i like it only drawback to that boreal and if anybody is is um, used one is the handle I, I don't like the handle geometry of it where it's this one here is really comfortable using it's more just straight up and down the boreal is really really tilted um and it just it has a you're holding it kind of like this it's just got an odd feel to it to me but it cuts really good and it packs down to really you know packs down into itself i mean kind of like the venture sworn but the venture sworn you've got you know several pieces to it um also with this i've got uh, badger claw leather works this is their uh saw pouch and it's just a wax canvas pouch works really well to take the saw down and, and keep it in it so this is it this is the main items um for tools that i use while i'm over here the only other tools that i use while i'm here are my uh two Mora carbon knives, the hook knife and the other little uh, carbon knife. I don't remember the number on it, but it's real pointed. That's pretty much it, except for what I keep in my pockets. Now, I also do carry this with me all the time over here, and then I carry it you know, all the time, really, too. But this is a Swiss Army knife, a uh, Victorian Ox Swiss Army knife. This is a, called a Lumberjack, and it has your regular blade. It's the size of a Cadet but this one has got the can opener and a little screwdriver and bottle opener 
uh, combination. But what this one makes this one so much different from the other is it's got a little saw on it. And it's kind of like the Bushcrafter um, that they that Victoria Knox makes. But uh, this one, like I say, is the size of a cadet. And it's thin. It really fits in your pocket well. I really like this knife. So this stays with me, uh, you know, all the time while I'm over here, as well as my Leatherman Skeletal. And this is the Skeletal CX model. And uh, it's got a 154 CM steel blade. But I use it you know, when I'm over here too. More or less, the only thing I really use it for is the pliers every now and then on doing stuff. But yeah, these this always stays with me too. So I guess you consider these my bushcraft tools as well. But thank y'all for watching. Um, thought I'd just make this little video and just show you the tools that I use while I'm over here. So I appreciate you watching. If you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button and that uh, little bell notification. It'll let you know when I put up a next video uh if you are, do instagram uh check me out there on instagram i do a lot of pics uh some short little videos on instagram at clp bushcraft um that's my main social media but i'm trying to do a little bit more with youtube and just like i say trying to juggle this work family and everything else it's a little tough but i try to get these videos made when i can so i really appreciate y'all watching and until the next video guys see you then y'all take care